Saudi Arabia's major source of income has been crude oil, but since the past few years, the kingdom is looking to diversify and create alternate sources of income as the world is transitioning from petrol and diesel-based mobility to electric and green fuel. And therefore, Saudi is shifting its focus to tourism. The biggest type of tourists to enter the country are the pilgrims who visit Mecca to perform Hajj and Umrah. These tourists use hotels, restaurants, transport services and shopping centres giving a big boost to the country's consumption. The kingdom is taking various other steps to attract tourists not just to perform Umrah but to also visit other areas in the country and that shift in attitude is quite evident. A significant move has been to allow women to perform the pilgrimage alone versus the earlier requirement of having a male companion. Strict dress codes for female tourists have also been relaxed. To further ease the process, Saudi Arabia has launched a digital platform called Nusuk. This is like a one-stop shop that helps travellers plan their itineraries right from applying for e-visas to booking their flights and hotels. It also guides tourists for religious site visits, local transportation and shopping centres. India is an important source of tourists for Saudi Arabia. According to the Saudi Tourism Authority, there were about 1.8 million Indian tourists in Saudi Arabia in 2023, making it the third largest source of tourists into the country after Indonesia and Pakistan. Saudi Arabia says it is expecting the number of Indian tourists to increase to 7.5 million by 2030. Saudi has also eased its visa policies, making the process much simpler and faster. And that tells us a lot about how the kingdom is taking steps and upping its tourism game to stay relevant in a fast-evolving world.